Look what just arrived. It's the tarot of 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 mystical moments. It is mystical moment after another mystical moment up in here. So we we have been waiting a while for this one. It has been quite some time. It was originally slated for October, and then of course it never showed up. It got delayed. It got delayed. It was finally December. Then it was January. Then it was February. Now it is here, late December. Look how pretty that box is. Nice hard bound box. Here is the back of it for you to take a look at. Let's zoom in a little bit. I like to get it tight. That's what he said. I like to get in tight. All right. So it has a little finger thing so you can get in there just nicely. Wow, that is pretty. That is mighty attractive. I'm going to just say now that um, the first impressions are very nice for this. Cute little book. It is black and white with short little descriptions on all the different things. We'll look at that at the end. But right now, let's, wow, this is pretty. Let's take a look at the cards. Already it makes a nice first impression. I don't want to scratch the cards. I hate I hate cutting into plastic near the cards because I just know I'm going to scratch something. Look at the silver edges on this thing. Look at that. How pretty is that silver edge on there? Very cool. So we have a mystical moment. So I'll give you a chance to read that. And these are quite large. These are quite robust. If we compare this to something you know like the Dark Mansion Tarot, it eclipses the Dark Mansion Tarot size. It is rather robust. Right. So there is the back. And let you take a look at that. And here is the front. Wow. That is beyond what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I had expectations. And this is already exceeding them just based upon the first card. That is, that is, uh, I'm at a loss for words, that's so pretty. Let's look at the thickness. Not too bad, not great, but not too bad. The Magician, look at the magic style, just sort of holding up a house type feel. And the High Priestess is so pretty. I like the um, well done, sort of a little bit of a collage feel to it, but extremely artsy at the same time. Borderless. And the titles are nice and clear, nice and big, and good contrast on the titles as well. I like the Emperor. A little bit of a Dr. Mystical mustache, but a tree instead of a uh, standard mus mustache. And the Emperor. Ooh, look at the puppeteering going on with the Emperor. I like it. Look like an old Italian building and whatnot. And then the Hierophant. Very interesting how you have the Hierophant. Sort of that moon feel, that intuitive feel that the traditional Hierophant has. And then we have the Lovers, also weird and cool at the same time. Wow, that's really well done. There's such a, an attention to detail on the trees and on the uh, background and the sky. I like the city in the background, the chariot. It gives the chariot a place to go. The chariot is not moving very quickly either. The chariot is a snail. That's going to be interesting in a read. I can't wait to read with these. There's a lot of embedded meanings in here. I like strength. It's sort of like a cat lady, literally a cat lady, and the lion. She has a tail. It's very cool how they sort of incorporated that. And then the hermit. Wow. Wow. A lot of depth in that. Just look how alone this person is. And instead of holding a light on a lighthouse... Instead of holding a light on a lighthouse, it's a mermaid with a, uh, a fishing line with a light. That is so cool. Then the Wheel of Fortune, very interesting with all the, um, has that classical sort of Victorian feel to it. I like how that looks. And then we're going to go with a little bit of the justice action here. Ooh, I like the justice. That's very interesting there. Sort of on top of buildings and whatnot. 
And the Hanged Man, again, with a very pretty, almost uh, pastelish color scheme. And the, uh, the zipper starts to add a little bit of an effect. It's like she's going to continually slide down and the zipper is going to continually open up. So she's opening up the tree or the bush or the forest or whatnot. And death, interesting, interesting. I like sort of a little bit. Is it a butterfly? Is that a bit of a butterfly action there? Looks like it, maybe. Anyway, it's pretty cool looking. So yeah, we have the temperance. Wow, what is that? It's sort of like one of those old Victorian hats, except it is above her, or it's an old Victorian cover of some type. And then the devil, a little bit of a mushroom lady, mushroom spider lady with the webs and the webs, cobwebs all about, not cobwebs, literally like cobwebs, okay. And the tower, holding on, holding on to the tower. That is so interesting. We, we're seeing the change coming, but we don't want to watch it. We don't want to watch it. So we're averting our eyes and we're holding on, trying to avoid the change. Great, great interpretation of that. The star, very, very cool. I can't wait to read with these, all of the extra meanings that are sort of embedded in here. And of course the moon with the howl and it looks like she's a half octopus mermaid, a half human heading towards the moon. And then the sun, wow, so, so pretty. Her hair becomes the sunlight. Just the way that this is done is so artistic. Very, very artistic. And then judgment. Hmm, interesting. The more buildings again, with the wings and whatnot. And then we have the world. So the final, final one, the dress is actually the world. And it looks like an old steel mill type uh, texture or something like that. Ace of Wands, opening the book and seeing the flower. So it's almost like a reveal, a sudden reveal of something, right? And then the Two of Wands, holding the globe there, looking at the moon. Very, very pretty. And the Three of Wands. It is very surreal, very surreal deck. This, I knew this was gonna be like this. I knew it, just based upon the Oracle. By the way, she has an Oracle. Um, uh, Katrin Wells Stein has an Oracle of Mystical Moments. And the walkthroughs, flip-throughs of that is so pretty that I knew that she was just gonna knock it out of the park with this. This is gonna be one of those that is just knocked it out of the park. Especially, we have the um, silver gilded edges. We have a big, big three and a half by five, three by five card for 20 bucks. You, you literally can't beat that. There's, there's just no way to beat that at this point. Six of Wands. A carrot on a stick feel, right? A carrot on a stick feel to that one. And then the Five of Wands, we're having a conflict, but apparently maybe... Uh, maybe he's breastfeeding. I mean, I'm just, I'm just broaching the subject here. It could be breastfeeding, a, a miniature breastfeeder. Um, then the seven of wands, sort of breaking out of that. It still on the defense, but breaking out of it. And then the eight, of course, moving along, and her dress matches the, matches the umbrellas. Oh, very, very cool. They stick together a little bit, but not after you sort of mess with them for just a second. Uh, the Nine of Wands, I'm not sure what's going on there. I guess the wands are on her shirt. And the Ten of Wands, being encumbered by flowers. If you're going to be encumbered, if you're going to have too much going on, it might as well be with some pretty flowers. You know what I'm saying? And then the Page of Wands, so, so pretty with that Page of Wands. Very, very cool. I like it. And the Nine of Wands. I mean, she didn't skimp on the miners. She went full out. She went full out on the miners. She was just like, I'm going to knock this out of the park, you know, hold my beer and uh, watch me knock this tarot deck out of the park. Queen of Wands. Another one. Good fiery action there. And then the King of Wands. Oh, look at the fire sort of as a decorative thing on the, uh, on the suit. So the suit jacket is a decorative fire almost. It reminds me of um, 
reminds me of Game, not Game of Thrones. It reminds me of um, the Hunger Games. Okay, the King of Wands. That is a interesting card, an interesting robe. Ace of Cups, ooh, how pretty is that? A giant girl with a big bowl of flowers, you know what I mean? That's all you need in life is a girl with a big bowl of flowers. And then the Two of Cups, the conjoined twins, I like it. And the Three of Cups, that's sort of interesting. It's like we're, we're bound together almost. Doesn't it have a feel of like we're bound together, bound to be together. And the Four of Cups, I'm not interested in another umbrella. Oh, how interesting, the umbrella shades her. So it's blocking the sunlight or the rain or something. It's blocking something. I'm not really sure what that is. Is that rain or is that sunlight? I think it's sunlight, blocking the sunlight. And then the Five of Cups, Lord of Disappointment. A little bit interesting there. And then we got the Six of Cups. That is very interesting there. It's like we have the people, you know, you have the girl with the sister handing them a cup, and then you have a witness to the whole thing with the balloons and whatnot. And then the seven. Ooh, I like that. Instead of cups, it's a star. It has one of the, that Michelangelo, Moses touching God's finger aspect to it, doesn't it? Sort of that ethereal, angel-y type thing. What was that called? The birth or the, I don't forget what that's called. You know what I'm talking about, the Michelangelo painting. Michelangelo painting on the Sistine Chapel. Um, yeah, we have the Eight of Cups, leaving, being abandoned. I like that they're a, um, a ladybug and just sort of escaping. And then you have the witnesses from the fireflies to the ducks or swans. And then the Nine of Cups. Dude, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, look at the Ten of Cups. Every card just makes me want to smile. I really like this. I really like how this is done. And, um, well, the Page of Cups. I mean, this is, this is really, really nice. The Knight of Cups is interesting. So it's, she's holding a heart and playing it like an instrument. You see that? Playing the heart like an instrument. How cool. And then the Queen of Cups. Um, that reminds me of a painting. What is that painting? Uh, I forgot who the painting is from. But doesn't it remind you of a painting? Uh, an old painting from long, long ago. Anyway, I forgot what the name of it was, but I recognize the actual painting. Anyway, the King of Cups holding a ship. How interesting is that? I actually looked at model ships the other day. I was like, how? I'm kind of curious because I like to build uh, miniatures. I'm kind of curious how to build a big... Uh, model ship and they were 350 bucks. I was like, no, thanks The king of cups sort of ooh, look at that sort of a ship moving in the gap between her legs insert joke here um, And this she's holding a smaller ship insert joke here ace of swords. Oh, that's interesting. She's holding a key and the two of swords blinded by her own hat with a uh, hole in it for the birds Oh, wow, the Three of Swords. Look at that. The uh, Heart Rose. The Heart Slash Rose. Man, this deck. This, this is going to be my new favorite deck, isn't it? This is this is going to be... I'm going to use this all the time. I'm going to use this all... This is going to be my first... Oh, I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. Four of Swords is so pretty. That resting aspect, and it's almost like her hair is shaped like a sword. Obviously, the feathers are a sword, which is done again in the new tarot that's on Kickstarter. The uh, Five of Swords, the Lord of Defeat. We have sort of a mirrored, defeatist-looking form. And then the Six of Swords, taking a journey on the clouds. Ooh, and having an anchor. Um, the Seven of Swords. This, uh, there's so many, I mean, actually, this is the first deck in a long time that I want to make a dedicated video and discuss the possible symbolism that I see would be interesting to sort of work out. Anyway, especially since this is only 20 bucks, like, like everybody can, it's not like one of those decks that's going to be 50 some bucks. It is 20 bucks. It's, it's no brainer. Um, I mean, if you have the 20 bucks, this is a no brainer. 
Uh, okay, not wow, look at the various aspect of that. We're being watched. We're being watched by other people, and that's cause of concern, right? The main person is not watching, but the other eyes are watching. And the Ten of Swords. Wow, ruin. The hairstyle is ruined. The Page of Swords. How interesting is that? And then the Knight of Swords with the action, with the action, sort of riding the sword that is a feather. And then the queen, again with the balloon field. The balloon is a, I guess, a building with uh, things like that. And she's looking with her spyglass and uh, trying to see stuff. And then the king of swords, who I guess had an eye is being replaced by a bird. And a little bit of a samurai slash ninja action going on there. And then the king of swords. Ooh, look at the pretty, look at the lights. It's almost like the little light, LED lights you get on Amazon that you can decorate your cabinet with and stuff. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Two of Pentacles, I like it. I like it a lot. The, the, that, uh, more buildings and whatnot. And then the Three of Pentacles. Very, very cool. Yeah, this is, the, this is a master of uh, collage. This, this is somebody who is just a, a PhD level of collage. The four of pentacles, ooh, the gate. The gate with the locks and whatnot, sort of embedded into the dress. And then the five pentacles with the tree again. So instead of the mustache, it is the, uh, it is the hair braids, sort of the braids become the tree. And the six of pentacles, like it. Um, the seven, Oh, that's interesting. We have apple. Is he holding a giant apple that's sliced? I wonder what that sort of means. It's got to be some embedded stuff in there. Um, and the eight. Oh, that's kind of cool. Working. She's working on the wings. She's painting the wings of the butterfly. Ooh, I, like the ideas are so original. There's there's one hundred and fifty percent originality within this. Nine is so pretty. Every card just gets better. And the Ten of Pentacles being the happy home. And he's sort of sitting there sort of thinking about the happy home and whatnot. Um, the Page is interesting. Page of Pentacles with the rock solid stability. And has a watering can. And has watered the, the flowers and whatnot. And then the Knight being proud of the wheat, being proud of their environment, and the queen. And finally, the king. And apparently we have an extra card underneath, the king of pentacles, and we have an alternate king of pentacles. How interesting is that? So that's kind of cool. If you want a alternate king of pentacles, you're not happy with that one, you get an extra one for free. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at the book. Again, this is huge. This is three by five. This is massive for 20 bucks. What a, what a no brainer. Let's take a look at the book. I know this is going to be overexposed. So I am uh, lowering the light on this a little bit. If it's underexposed, I'm sorry. I tried my best. The introduction is here. And that lasts a couple of pages. And then we go immediately into the major arcana. So for every major, with a fool and adventuresome young girl begins her journey by walking through a blooming garden. So it talks about the sort of the uh, strategy behind what in the car, the symbolism, upright meaning, a couple of keywords, reverse meaning, a couple of keywords. Let's look at one more major. We'll go for the lovers in the chariot. I will pause and let you read that. And then we will move on to the minors. Um, for each minors, you get an equivalent amount of text. I will pause and let you read that. If you want to pause the video and whatnot. Um, let's do a sword. So we have the king of swords and we have the female king of swords. I'll pause and let you see the difference between the male and the king or the female king of swords. And finally, 
um, we have some spreads. So we have reading the tarot with the mystical moments, a little bit of a guide there. And on the next page, we will have a, let's see, 94. Uh, we have about the author. So I started to create digital images when my children were two and four years old. At that time, I was desperate to do something creative. Uh, you knocked it out of the park. <laughs> you knocked it out of the park. So, so you get a three by five deck with silver edges, big, thick, hefty cards. So let's look at the thickness compared to the Dark Mansion. So you get a Dark Mansion style deck for 20 bucks. I would say this is the one of the biggest no-brainers that I've seen in quite some time. So overall, I am just ecstatic with it. I think that she knocked it out of the park. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear, let me adjust the brightness up. There we go. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.